Welcome back. In this video, I wanted to go over ECS or Elastic Container Service. So what is ECS and why is it useful? Well, ECS is a fully managed service that takes care of organizing and deploying your container applications. Your container applications being your Docker images. In ECS, we call containers tasks. You can tell ECS how you want your tasks to be ran and when you want them to run. And then ECS will take care of orchestrating, scheduling, and managing your Docker containers. ECS will also take care of starting or stopping your tasks. You can run these workloads across different availability zones. We store our Docker images in ECR or Elastic Container Registry. This is a private registry in AWS that is used by ECS or Fargate. ECS can grab the images and then run them for your workload. But what do these tasks run on? Well, they run on EC2 instances. Now, you can manage your own EC2 instances for your tasks to run on. You are still charged per running instance, but you are responsible for optimizing and managing your cluster of EC2 instances. You have more control, but a lot more responsibility as well. Like I mentioned before, each task is a container and each task is defined by task definition. A task definition is required to run Docker containers in ECS. It basically defines the parameters you need to create as a task. And these tasks will run on your EC2 instances. Again, here you're only managing the EC2 instances. But what if you don't want to manage the EC2 instances? Well, we have AWS Fargate. Fargate will help you launch your Docker containers and it will also provision the necessary resources for your images to run. This is actually easier because it will take care of the tasks and the EC2 instances needed for your workload to run. Fargate is also responsible for the cluster optimization. Since you aren't deploying the EC2 instance, you're charged per running task instead. With this service, you have a lot less responsibility, but also a lot less control. All that being said, Fargate is actually considered a serverless service since we don't have to manage any of the EC2 instances. Again, I want you to understand ECS because it will help you on exam day. I'll see you in the next video.